Well, good morning, guys. Happy New Year, January 1st, 2021. How are you guys doing today? Thought I'd start the year off, right? Going for a little walk and jog. Today is supposed to be the Rose Parade, right? Every year. They're not having it. I think they're having some other thing going on on TV. What I'm gonna do after this jog, take the 300 millimeter F4D out. I promised you guys I'll be using that lens more often. I'm gonna drive around the city, take some pictures. So happy new year. Thanks for joining me. First of the year, 2021. Let's have a rocking year this year, guys. <laughs> Rock and roll. What's good guys? This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. Well, I'm driving around the city right now, Pasadena, California. Every year around this time, this day, there's a beautiful rose parade that goes on in this city. You know, the pandemic this year, COVID-19, things are a little different. There's no parade. However, there's some few things going on in the city. I bought my 300 AF D lens from yesteryear. I did a full on review of the Nikon 300 millimeter AF F4 lens not too long ago, which I'll be using today. Take some shots, see if I see anything interesting. But if you wanna check out that review, go ahead and click the link above and check that video out. I did a full review on this awesome lens. See if I see anything interesting going around in the city and I'll take some shots straight from my car maybe i'll get out take some shots with that show, show you the images later on in this video guys like i said the nikon 300 millimeter af f4 earlier in this video i said it was a d lens it's not a d lens i always mistake it's not a d lens it's an af built all metal it's solid amazing glass and the lens doesn't cost that much which is the beauty of this lens so we'll take some shots we'll see how it goes all right guys Rock and roll. Pasadena is full of little gems that a lot of people just don't know about. Never been here or never read up on it. But right now we're outside of uh, an iconic location. I wanna see if you guys could guess where I'm at right now, if this house looks familiar. One of my favorite movies of all time, one part of it, an iconic part, was filmed right here in front of this house. Check it out, see if you recognize this place. This house right here. It's in one of my favorite movies of all time. Let's go outside and take a look at it closer, shall we? Maybe take some shots. Sorry guys, the lighting is not ideal. It's around 10.30 in the morning. So the sun's in a crazy wacky place. Okay, so this is where Back to the Future was filmed. This is famous Doc Brown's house in the movie. So this garage behind me and the house, this is where you see Doc Brown and Marty McFly running. Uh, Doc Brown has a bunch of papers with him. I don't know those posters or, or plants, whatever scientific stuff. He's running up this driveway. And actually this is, guys, this is the Gamble House. That's what it's called in real life. So if you're a Back to the Future fan, guys, this place is a real gem. This place is, is it right here. Should we go inside, knock on the door, and let Doc Brown know that we want to go back in time? Buy all those cameras and lenses from the 50s and 60s? <laughs> what do you say we take the walk? Taking the steps that Marty McFly took in the movie Back to the Future. Waking up Doc Brown. See if he could take us back in time, guys. Look, I'm even wearing my Nikes. They kind of look like the Nikes from the movie, huh? All right, we're in front of Dr. Emmett Brown's house. In the movie Back to the Future. Man, I love that movie, guys. I never get tired of that movie. Part one, obviously part one is the best, but part two and part three ain't bad either. I need to go back to the future. Rock and roll. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a big time movie fan, big time movie buff. 
I love movies from, from the 70s, 80s, some of the 90s, you know, the classics, movies from the 50s. Oh, I love those black and whites. Big Twilight Zone fan. Man, uh, Rod Sterling, one of my favorite writers. Hey, whose camera? That'd be mine. That's a pretty cool light fixture. I wonder if this is all original. I'm gonna have to ask. These doors, they, these doors look original. Take a picture of that light fixture. Look how old this door is. Wow. That's crazy right here, guys. Oh, look at inside. Can you see inside? Yeah, let me see if I could film something inside. See anything, guys? Oh, look at that table. Look at that table, guys. Rocking the 300 AF. Hey guys, take a look at this work on this glass here. Some quality, huh guys? All right, well, we took a little detour from our Rose Parade detail plans on this video. Dr. Emmett Brown, Back to the Future house. Hope you guys enjoyed that if you've never seen that before. But let's drive around the city and see if we can find anything Rose Parade related. Check out this bridge, guys. Let's go see if there's anything going on by the Rose Bowl. Well, I did find something. Got a float right there. Like any other year, guys, this place will be packed. But we'll go closer to that and check it out and I'll take some shots with the 300. In some regards, this is kind of a historical day. Not in a good way, but this is the first time in probably, what, 100 years? There's no parade on the first of the year. Dr. Emmett Brown from Back to the Future. At least we got to see that, right? I'm just a little bummed that I didn't get to shoot my lens that much. You know, I don't get political on my channel. Uh, I don't like to talk about politics. You know, I don't want to mix my channel and photography with politics at all. I'm an independent thinker. I don't need a party system to tell me how to think or how to enjoy my life. You know, everybody has their, their belief system. Everybody has their opinions to things. Like I said, I don't need a party. I don't need to be affiliated with any type of uh, political party. You know, I'm an independent. So, however, I just passed by a caravan of Trump flags and you name it and i think they're gonna come down the street right now and hey might as well test the lens out right guys because i didn't see anything interesting today 
except for that Doc Brown's house. But shooting that house is really not ideal for that 300 millimeter that I want to try out. So take some shots. Might as well, guys. I saw some really cool classic cars, so. Okay, let me chime in here. If you're a photojournalist, you're covering the local story, this lens is perfect. It's tack sharp. I love the colors. Just, I love the output of this lens. Just look at this. Look at this image right here, zoomed in. Look at that, look at that sharpness. And this is all the way out. I just love the way the images are rendered with this lens. Yeah, I didn't get a rose parade like I wanted to, or floats. But I had to cover something for you guys to see some sample images. And this was going on on the streets of Pasadena. And I decided to take some pictures for you guys. The Nikon 300mm AF F4 lens rocks. Well, we didn't see a rose parade today. But we did see a Trump parade. Have a happy new year. Don't let your political beliefs get in the way of your friendships. You know, some people might think this way, some people might think that way. But at the end, we're all human, we're all photographers. Let's get along. You know, to be honest, I didn't think this was going to turn into a conversation about politics, kind of. But you know what? It did, kind of. So 2021, guys, don't let BS get in the way of your friendships of your photography. There's no political preference for photography. We're all photographers. Just get along. Have a great, happy new year. Stay healthy, my friends. Health, wealth, and happiness. Happy new year, guys. This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. We'll see you on the next video. Rock and roll. <laughs>